Actually, I need to heal this, this guy for five oh. damage. Who who was that? Who was that against? The great snow. Okay. Uh, roll the damage. I think you forgot to add a bracket there. Versus yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Versus its will. Okay, he takes fourteen damage from that. As you know, you notice that it's like this weird mucusy membrane is kind of bouncing things off of it. Yeah. Oh, you okay. did a, You Plus gave him five damage three. when you meant to heal him five damage earlier oh, okay. too. Okay. There he goes. He is now saved and treats all its enemies as concealed until okay. it's saved. Alright, I'm just gonna add like a that. Nice. Okay. Okay. Next up, Matthias. Run away. Stand. <laughs> Healing word. <laughs> Awesome, so I gained 15. What boy, sir? Anyone else on the one between Rungar and I, I will use Sergeant Sun. Alright. Alright, that hits. 14. And I can spend a healing surge. <laughs> nice. So I'm up to 25. And that's every action. And turn. Alright. Thornskin frogs go. <laughs> you are still in the water with them. Let's see here. The frog 6. Let's see if his pounce recharges. Nope. He's gonna he's gonna shifty shift around you and try to bite you. And that misses. Frog two. Let's see if his pounce recharges. Nope. He's gonna just stay in the same spot and try to bite you. Yep. Thornskin Frog 5 is going to try to bite at Grungar. Since Grungar's on the land, he doesn't get the plus 2 bonus. Actually, let's see if he recharges his pounds now. So anyway. 2! He bites you pretty hard. Which is kind of weird. You know, frog bites, you don't... <laughs> they just kind of latch on. Well, these are frogs the size of people. Yeah. And then he's this was let's let's see here if this one gets his pounce recharged. Nope, he's gonna try to get you grunt oh, guard. So and he misses. Okay. Snail. He's got swamp walk, but he only has a speed of three. He's able to get to here. That's a snail. Yep. And let's see here. I can't remember. Let's see. I'm looking at his powers. Okay. Let's see here. It moves to there, and it's going to actually do this. It's going to it's going to use its snail's rush, but it's going to be targeting the thornskin frog as one of its targets. And he's going to use his bullying slam against the frog. So it pushes it like that, knocks it prone. And then shifts here, and he's going oh. to try to. Let's see here. Hang on, I forgot to add the damage to it. Twelve damage. 
And it's going to try to slam he make with a bullying slam too. That's actually a 17 versus AC. That is a miss. Okay. So it kind of roars at you defiantly, Hemic. Cintiq? Snails roar. Uh, well, no, no. It, it, it opens... It wiggles opens its, its eye stalks menacingly. No, it, it opens its... <laughs> it opens its mouth parts, and the influx of air causes it to gurgle loudly. Just like this... <laughs> Okay, well, first things first. That means he's challenging you to a duel. <laughs> I challenge you, kind sir, to a duel. <laughs> eh, worth it. Okay. <laughs> Just stand over him and shoot him in the face. Like, hold your staff up like a rifle and shoot him in the face. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is fortunately ally-friendly. So Hello, reading order is will be... Giant snail. Yes, it will be the new one. The one's going to frog. Two, six, five, and Ooh. seven. Okay. This I think is I fire know shroud. One. Yep, fire shroud. <laughs> I love that one. Oh, wait, I forgot. Giant snail is dazed. Oop. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me roll a saving throw for him real quick. That said, I might have missed a bunch of them. I rolled like poop. Well, 13 was hitting their reflex. Oh. Okay, he's no longer dazed, but... This is a forge attack? Yeah, it's it's weird. Really? It was fort? I okay, thought it was reflex. Okay, uh, hits... Alright, hits the snail. And... 11. Here. Hang on. Yeah. Fort. Let, let me look at it real quick. Let's see their fort. Because they're brute, so it could be impressive. No, their oh, fort's 12. Although it is a fire attack, so you're... You're missing, so you miss him. So you're, you second and fourth hit. ones. Hit. Yeah. So you miss Actually, these two guys. Yeah. Yeah. Left to right, thirteen. You would hit. You'd hit that one actually, because you have plus two. Mm -hmm. Giant snail, it's it's frog. Frog two and two. five. Yeah, you know, you 11 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Still pretty good. Yep. No, okay. Fire damage, and they have the ones that were hit get ongoing 5 fire damage. Not that it matters against the snail, I think. But. Yeah, sorry, hang on. One sec. I mm. let, me, let me heal the snail again. I accidentally put in. And... It's mucus is on fire, but that kind of protects it. Yeah. Uh, well, Frog Seven uh, on fire. You might kill Frog Seven actually if you hit it with Hellfire. That's what I was actually about thinking of doing. And if you don't, it still got five damage before it acts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Hellfire hurt on Thorn Skin Frog Seven. So additional six <laughs> fire damage. Okay. I love the fire shroud. All right, it's a fun one, and that will be her turn. Okay, I'll remove that now. Grungar. Okay, my turn. Well, I'm going to hit uh, you know, hit frog five actually. You can with, combat advantage against it. With uh, I could if um, I use stalking strike. So. Yeah. I'll go ahead and do that. Wee. Eighteen. Yep. Bloody it. Right. And uh shift back. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. <laughs> you make. Okay. Yeah, we'll provoke an attack. We'll see what it does. Okay, it slams at you. Okay, that'll hit. Okay. But then I get to move and charge. Mm, Alright. Okay. 
discharge. Jesus, yeah, 26. Uh, so, 21. He is prone. And prone. And bad advantage. Oh. Can you knock things prone that are... Alright, uh... Was that 14 with the combat advantage added? That was with combat, yeah. I oh, okay. always add combat advantage to it. Okay. Do you want to yeah. heroic effort it? Oh, sure. That is a good amount of damage. Yeah. yeah. He, he takes it. Yeah, okay, so... Considering this thing has a resist 5 all. Yeah, so 19... Let's see here. So make, make 17 more yeah. damage to it since I roll high. Yep. Hey, you it you hit it and it, it slakes off enough of the mucus membrane to where it pierces it through. Shell smash. Hey, you made it so the ongoing fire will actually do damage. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. only five, but still, yeah. All right. Oh, God, that was a charge. White wizard. That is why I like that attack. It's. Ally friendly gigantic burst on going fire. It's a very FU move. Alright, that hits. 23. It is. Mm, well of light. He gains a vulnerable yes. radiant. Yes. Well, in the aura. Yeah. Okay. I doubt it'll have an easy time moving. All right, anything else? In... Nope. Okay. Matthias. Oh, man, what to do, what to do? Um... um let's see. Let's go ahead and... Let's see, distance moves. I, I, I kind of like the way the random encounters are going. It's like, the whole world is your dungeon. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to minor action solar enemy. Okay. Everything within two, burst 2 has vulnerable 5 radiant, or it increases by 5. Okay, so I'll gain vulnerable Let's 5 rats. Well, snail is vulnerable. 10, and Nimbus Eight. of the Holy Shield. Against, so this will hit... Frog 2 and Frog 5. What about Frog 7? Oh, alright. Frog 7 still alive. So, link 2. And this is versus Will. Yeah, that hits all of them. Nice. All them bones. I think uh, two froggies might go poop. Alright, so 13 damage. Yep. And then Wizard, Rungar, Cintiq, and I get plus two power bonus to all defenses. And then Shift. Alright, Thornskin Frog. It's going to try to tongue lasso you back, Matthias, because you're bleeding all over the place and it has a taste for your blood. Ooh, what a bad It's going to shift. Oh, it's, yeah, it's going to shift right here. And it's going to try to talk about you. Madam! That probably misses. Fool me three times, shame on me. Well, then it's going to it's gonna charge at you, then. Didn't it shift back, though? Yeah, no, it shifted back. It shifted, uh, oh, let's see here, yeah. Yeah, it's shifted. a minor charge. Yeah, okay, charge is standard, got yeah. it. So anyway. I forgot that little thing was a minor. Yep. And he misses. So now it's the giant snail's turn. Giant snail takes five damage. And he is pissed. He's going to use a snail rush on uh, Hemic. We're going to assume it stands. Yeah, it stands up. Okay. So he pushes you one square. Yeah, he pushes you right here and then shifts, and then he's going to use. He's going to use the bullying. Let's see here, hang on. He's going to try to use bullying slam again against you. And he misses. And no. 
But then he's going to use his action point. And he's going to try to swallow you, Hemic. Oh, nope. and he misses. <laughs> no. Oh, that should be on me. No. <laughs> You're able to definitely dodge out of... The, you're able to get... He tries to get you in his mouth, but you're able to kind of brace yourself. Yeah. He kind of half-heartedly considering. So anyway, let's see if he saves against that ongoing fire. He saves. Just a little. <laughs> yeah, just, just a little bit, yeah. Much better he use that 20 on the save and not the attack of swallowing. Yeah. Stunned isn't such a big deal on me, actually. Well, stunned is, yeah. It's like no action. Dazed isn't such a big deal. Stunned is bad. But. Oh. Oh, wait. Why am I warring that thing? Dazed is fine. I can still use my dual weapon attack. I think they just opened up a way for you to use your fire hands. Yep, burning hands. But for some reason, I thought I had to get the whole giant thing. I was like, no, don't. That'd be silly of me, no. So, yeah, against giant <laughs> snail, then thorn skin frog, too. Burning hands. All right. Just Go for it. Attacks. I'm pretty sure this thing is dead. There's no chance it's getting another turn. All right, so. Oof, not been rolling well. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. These guys have crap for a reflex. Both of them do. Okay, the frogs are defeated. Plenty of food. Rungar. Let's see. Like that. That. Da. Ah. I go over here, okay. and I decide to hit it with this. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Darn. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, do I feel like action pointing? Do you? Do you feel lucky, punk? We've got three yeah. more people going before this thing. Yeah, well, so. you should make his day then. Because <laughs> yeah, you're shit out of luck. Now get off my lawn. <laughs> Wait, wrong franchise. Uh, and, hey man, are you talking to me? Talking to me, man? <laughs> That's just gotta be my turn. No, keep it Clint Eastwood, man. Hell of a thing, killing a man. You take away everything he's ever had and everything he's ever gonna be. Stand up. Alright. I'm sorry, uh, Nick. Whoa, I was trying whoa. to get him away. This. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, it's fine. Because this way I get combat advantage. All right, 13 damage. And a 15. You shatter it. You crack it open as it falls to the ground. Let's see. Time to heal. It would have been funny if it tried to eat you, if it was able to eat you. That's one of those things where it's like, it's like, man, he, he had to really screw up to not be able to pull that move off. Ugh, there we go. He belly... Would have been belly, funny if he tried it on me. Yeah, he belly bumped you twice. And, oh yeah, you can you can save from being stunned at the start of your turn. Ugh, I'm down to three surges to get back to full. Well, that and the uh, I have the White Lotus Riposte. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like... It tries to eat me. I deal a damage to it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. So anyway, uh, do y'all want to roll nature checks to try to get these frogs skinned? Uh. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> he, <laughs> Matthias wants nothing to do with the frogs. Nope. Neither does Grungar. <laughs> He yeah, just wants Matthias. to watch them burn in the fire. Yeah, no, he's, he's like, Matthias, you're not carving it very well. And he's just like, it's take that. Yeah. 
Here, <laughs> Grungar is, uh, I, I can carve it better than you. Grungar is like, I can carve this up better than you. Starts using his hammer. Okay. He, no, 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 this is how you do it. Fire, burn into ash. I will just, burnt. like, roast them, because skinning's not working. Uh, might as well try. No. Nope. Man, you guys just botched this up so bad. You've, you've like... Are these edible? Yes, <laughs> yes. they're edible. Yes, they're edible. <laughs> Can we prepare them so they're edible? No, no, we cannot. Guys, guys I hate to say this, but Cooks yeah, you, you can't. You cannot prepare these things. We just 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 they're destroyed all before we can eat any. And not so much. It's it's like you split open the wrong organs. Like you accidentally split open like their gallbladder, which spoiled all the meat. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get. I've had that happen before okay. where uh, some chicken livers of mine I was what cooking about chicken the livers snail? And, they, and they left a gallbladder on because they was left for like the frogs. a Yeah, okay. Go ahead and roll a nature check if you want. Well, no. First, I want them to roll a nature to see if we can eat it. Okay. Slash prepare it. I don't know. No, we can. Yeah, you, 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 you uh, certain parts of it, yeah, certain parts of its stump <laughs> of like the, the bottom of it, you can. Like the foot. <laughs> I know slightly more about the snail, but not much. Eat the snail. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, uh, let's yeah, there's certain try. parts of the foot that you can eat if you prepare it right. Uh, let's prepare it. Okay, you, you're able to cut off pieces of it, but uh, let's have a... I'm going to say we're going to need a separate nature check for this. Oh, well, he did. His yeah, first one was a twenty-one, and then his yeah, that 21. was no, no. I mean, I mean, that's like you skinned it and everything properly, but oh, and, now we're you know prepared it. it. But I'm I'm almost tempted because it wasn't that good a nature check for the for the second part. Like you might have got some of the wrong parts, but I would. I'm gonna say. Just make a saving throw. Like, anybody who's going to eat, make a saving throw. Or an endurance check, whichever is higher. Well, you know. Saving throw. Well, I mean, you know. Or it's the same thing. Yeah. Whatever. Just make an uh, just make an endurance check. If you if you are going to eat this eat pieces of snail. Ugh. One hand, she really doesn't. On the other hand, we, we don't only have, have eight rations. Well, fuck it. Oh, Grungar, no. You, uh, you, you actually lose a healing surge because of this. I figured as much. Hmm, I'll try it. You don't get like filth fever, but you do like barf. Food poisoning. And you you have you aren't it isn't consi- you have not had your meal for the day. Well, uh, had it, lost I don't again. like that. I lose my like I lose two on endurance checks for eating. No 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 it's it, it's basically it's your your it the DC is ten for the endurance check. Oh, I meant just also, because armor. Penalty. Also, you don't take an armor penalty to eating. Well, yeah. You assume you don't. Yeah. Yeah. You would take it where you assume you should. Okay, uh, oh. Cintiq, how many, how many, okay. So, Grungar and Cintiq. <laughs> this is where I roll 19. Oh, Grungar, did I say you lose a healing surge? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Cintiq, you also lose a healing surge. Okay. <sighs> we'll have to have well, we found out really is like, oh, this is actually in. pretty delicious. Yeah, it's like, oh, the pro- the problem is with snail with giant snail meat you need to put it in flour first and you totally you you, had to, you have to fry it you did not fry it you just tried to cook it over a spit like a like a rotisserie <laughs> so i assume y'all had like set up camp here would this have been the end of our day though no or just a temporary one it, if y'all like, this would be like I start guess a fire, say, like yeah. y'all's lunch or something like Short that. Short rest. Yeah, like, we're eating our meal now, but we still have more traveling to do. Yeah. Uh, at least that's so. We're effectively saying that the two who made the saves at least got enough out of it. Yeah, it's like three in the afternoon by this point. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, anyone who saved actually had a meal. At least that saved us two. Thank yeah, goodness. like like you, and you know they say you you can survive three days without water, three weeks without food, and no, wait, three no, never mind. Yeah, three three minutes without air, three days without water, and three weeks without food. Ugh, but, that was hor uh, horrible. Let's just keep going. Hope we don't. Good have to God. Fix something else. This is fantastic. Nature is defeating us. Zombies, yes. we can handle. <laughs> you guys need. I think you, you guys need a nature well, person in here. Yeah, I think the problem is we didn't we didn't build anyone like that because we didn't know that the traveling was gonna be this like this. <laughs> well, that's that's part of the fun of it, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, it's because based off Galats, we never had this problem. Yeah, because you were in more civilized areas most of the time. We don't have I anyone know. that's really whiz-based either, do we? Nope. No, we don't. That's the problem. The closest class to work like this would be Hemic, but honestly, we would need a druid yeah, or a ranger to be them. well. I built, a, I built an elf rogue that... Uh, that I gave uh, nature at some point. Okay. That was okay, pretty so handy. Back to dust to dust map. Yep. yep. And we're gonna we'll go another ten miles. Ah. And then another five. All right. And it was a plus three bonus. Okay, nothing happens. And then another five. Alright, so you moved there, and that's where you are camping for tonight. Okay. okay. I am f going to go ahead and mark off three more rations. I'm assuming we don't get yeah. anything. Yeah. So we're at five now. Mm hmm. Oh, fingers crossed this place is not overrun, which it probably is. Wee mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see here. Do you guys want to call it here for tonight, or do you want to keep going? Cause I can I'm, ready, I'm ready to call it. Okay. Yeah, because it, it's, like oh. it's like almost 11 here. Yeah, I was just ho or, hoping it's if we could have four. gotten to the next place <laughs> for the night to start the next. Yeah. But well, if we're yeah. going to be still rolling for things, then that's going to take a while longer. Yeah, unfor unfortunately. Uh, I mean, hey, let's. let's uh, uh, oh, hey, hang on a minute. Uh, ro everybody, rolling. Like, if you want to try, if you want to try to make the camp safer, roll a nature check. <laughs> no. Twenty. Twenty. No, that was no. you. Yeah. Eight nope. eleven. All right. Snail. Alright, so I'm just going to roll a flat d20 just to see if you guys save. 14. You guys don't save. So next week, something happens during the first part of your encounter. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're act we're actually, uh, actually, actually not, next, not next week. We are, we are yeah. attacked by, by ambulatory food. <laughs> Milkshakes and hamburgers try to kill yes. us. Yes. Yes. No, no, you're attacked by yourselves. Like, like, just, just after a single day, Grungar just can't go without food, and he's like, start seeing all of you. You look like, like you start looking like food. Like he looks over, and it's like a turkey, with that would with, be with Hemix head on it. That'd be funny, so. but honestly, knowing Grungar's background, he actually is probably used to not eating. Yeah. Out of all of them, he's probably the one who's most used to that. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Next week we'll have an encounter. Well, not next week. Uh, to next time. We'll see. Next uh, in a couple in a couple weeks, and we're going to be on my laptop. So this is going to be fun because uh -huh. my laptop does not like vision blocking layers. Just don't use them. Uh, I need to for the for if we, if you get to the abbey, I may need them. Oh yeah. 